You stay back. You want to talk? You talk from there. Don't say you're going to help. You're the last person who said that tried to kill me. Hey, take it easy. Uh, I'm not going to hurt you. Yeah, you got that right. You try it, and you're dead. But I guess you can come closer now, even though I didn't say that. I'm sane, I'm a- oh darn, I was gonna start stomping on the bodies. I'm Isaac. Ellie. What do you want, Isaac? I'm trying to get to the transport hub. I need to get to the government sector. What do you think we were trying to do? Hey, I can help you. Besides, we got a better chance if we stick together. Don't you agree? It's not a chance, Isaac. Other people are just a liability. I'll release the door lock. But after that, you're on your own. And please, don't follow me, okay? Wait. Wait. Wait, I'm gonna follow you. Oh, shut up, I'm gonna follow you, though. So angry, I can't follow her. I'm saying I'm stable. Uh, so yeah, that's a uh, that's Ellie. Uh, I love Ellie. I'm aware that she is a, uh, a familiar take on a, a certain trope of uh, British cool tough girl. Uh, in fact, I may in fact uh, accidentally call her uh, a Laura from time to time due to a resemblance to a, a certain, uh, uh, shall we say, a crypt robber that uh, certain Vidura gamers might be familiar with. But uh, nonetheless, despite the fact that she is a, uh, she's a take on a trope that's been done before, uh, I just think it's a troop that's very right. Uh, so I do think, I do really like Ellie. Um, despite being a familiar character. She's not a tired character, that's, that's what I'm saying. She, she's, uh, she's a, they pull that character off well. Anyways, can't follow her, so I don't know why I'm still talking about her. She either went through a different floor, or she just sprinted through these guys like a boss. Also, the entire level stuck on a different color palette. Power node? Yes, power node. Are these little guinea pigs? These little space hamsters? Nice. I don't even know where that was. Is it on this side? Yeah, kill himself though. Spooky people! Or monsters, rather. Well, technically, Utah just are monsters, so. Well, not all of them are monsters, some are just stupid. Excuse you. Uh. 
There's one I'm missing, and I know it's gonna explode me. Risk it. Yeah! This is gonna go great! Gotta get that assault rifle out. Jeez, that's a that's a dark thought. No, 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 no. Thank you. I forgot about that one. Thought I remembered all the enemy types, but I completely forgot about that one. Yeah, you might want to get that one checked out. Never mind, I think you got that one handled. You know, some babies just need to feel like they belong. It's all so good. So creepy. Ma'am, I'd like to see your teacher's license. I don't feel good about you being around my kids. All right, now you're safe. Oh, she's literal, literally crawling out of the floorboards. And there's also a hole in that little shower thing. No, I know it's not a shower, because this is it. It's pretty messed up to have a shower here. But yes, there's a little babby hole there. Run a little low on ammo. Oh, 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 jeez, get, let's get out of there. I'm getting representation of Isaac's fear of fatherhood. Clearly what's happening here. I, I wish the game would be less subtle about it. Burn it. Why have babies evolved to be so scary? That doesn't seem right. Again, what kind of, like, if Decamorphs are supposed to be the god creatures, why are they, why, why are they have some of them evolved to kill themselves? You will go in the timeout chair. You let this happen to these babbies. You put the babbies in the timeout chair, but they're unfortunately all exploded. Although... If I can find a nice baby head around here, which shouldn't be too hard. There we go, here's one. This baby gets a timeout. Death burn it. Play nice. Good boy. Now you just stay there. Don't make me get the cone cone head, whatever you call it, the shame cone out here and put it on your head. Don't make me do it. I'll do it. Wash your hands, kid. I mean, you exploded your hands, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. But I will, I will get the cone out here. If need be. Z-Ball, my favorite. Reading is out of this world. Get it? Because space. The shoe is too big for babies, or even toddlers. It'll fit in a coal's feet. Boy, I can't wait for this one. Kids are playing way too rough. I mean, I there's scraps and bruises going on, there's injuries. A couple old fashioned, but I think there's the problem with kids growing up by space station. Kids with plant fresh air and open ground, those that go stir crazy and start picking on each other. Space is no place to raise a family, if you ask me. Again, fatherhood. It all goes back to fatherhood. This is just Isaac's silent hill. 
about how much he doesn't want to be a father. Is that true? I'd like to see your identification, please. Not again. I feel like people tend to keep space stations such a sterile environment that it would be hard for, for disease to spread. Keep up your strength, your supple caps. They're like bottle caps, except not as good, and also we still sell them in regular places, not just Walmart bargain bins. Strong kids for a strong future. Just like Germany. Jeez, oh, I didn't need to go there, but I did. Um, gonna investigate this from afar. Ah, it didn't work. It got scary anyways. Pretty good thing I got there. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I feel like when you're planning a space station, you should make it purposefully hard for diseases to be spread. Also, I remember this part, and boy, am I not excited. Can't wait for where this goes. I forgot how effing effective that is against those small children. Yes, yes this could be useful. Was very useful. Very irresponsible teachers in this place. Not happy with them. Not happy with their lack of effort. Yeah, dang it! I remember that now, but I didn't before. That burn it. Oh, here we go. What kind of a kids play has a jump scare sun in it? The theater department needs to be checked out. Please give me more goodies. Oh, I had to default to my javelin in my time of emergency back there, but uh, it happened and we dealt with it. I 
I thought that canister would be an explosive, not a stasis, although by the coloring I should have been able to guess. And I remember that now. Regardless, still not my best moment, but not quite as bad as that first room back back in the day. That one, it was understandable that I sucked, but sometimes... You get bit to death by a thousand ducks. Oh, solar system. I know it says hour, but the R is out of place. Is there a little you are here thing on the right next to Saturn? That's cute. And very depressing. Because these are all children at the end of the day. On the other hand, they're just children. Reading is out of this. Oh, they couldn't even get the kids to uh, come up with multiple posters that are excited about reading. They just had that one nerd kid design the one, and then they, they just photocopied it and put it all over the place. Really? Metamorphosis. In, like, elementary school. They're putting on metamorphosis. Really? Is this the same room as before? No, it's just a mirror image of death. Burn it! School's so scary. It's not even like a jump scare. It's just the fact that I'm a, uh, I'm getting flashbacks to my actual school days. And boy, were those spooky. Teacher you report? I know kids are supposed to have a vivid imagination, but this is getting pretty nuts. A lot of imaginary friends, diseased grandmothers. Normally this wouldn't be a problem, but it gets harder and harder for them to concentrate. They just keep talking about the imaginary grandmothers. Uh, increase time out. Uh, maybe these kids are having trouble at home. I've also noticed parental involvement. It's all these nerd unitologists don't care about their babby children. Is there a Nazi zombie reference here? Look how sick this school is! They have zero IG activity time, and that's after recess and a snack. Sixty percent of this school day is fun activities, and the rest is like actual school. You've got a, a class A class activity, which could still be fun. Look, it's got it's got like scissors and paper next to it. There's reading and mathematics. I and mean, I guess some kids might not like music. I guess there are a few that might not like reading, but still, most of that schedule is very enjoyable. And it still fell apart because none of these teachers know how to. Ooh, flamethrower. Hooray for school! I'm happy that school is here. Zero G fun. Yeah, I bet there's zero G fun. Is that what this room is for? Is that what there's a little division? Why, why is there a bookcase in, in the zero G room? Whatever. Whatever, they got zero G fun time. We got some class superstars here. Uh, uh, Tony Stark, Carol Danvers, Steve Rogers. Oh, holy crap, are these actually Avengers? No, there's Homer down there. Thanks for ruining it, Homer. Diana, Wonder Woman. I mean, she's not an Avenger, but Jose and then uh, Jamie Lannister up there. So mostly superheroes and a couple of other uh, no name losers. And also a Kingslayer. Space camping! Experience space! 20 hours of moonwalk time. A full week of educational fun. I feel like in the school, for this age of kids, maybe don't send them to actual space yet. Oh, this is a teacher on duty. Not gonna like that. No shoes? Oh, is this a zero-g room? No oh, shoe. Nicole makes a really good villain. I love it. Uh, yeah, I said, oh shoot, because I remember that was coming up. But I also remembered... Power node! 
Oh, and I thought you could push this, but apparently not. Only Nicole is strong enough to do that. Jared Cole. Not a classroom star. Or whatever the phrase was. Is that a cool little, uh, Isaac Chibi right there? That's nice. Good job, kids. Isaac and Ellie, I found someone. Another survivor. He says he knows you. Isaac. I said, stand still. Ellie, take it easy. His name is Strauss. I know him. Super, Super crazy. crazy. Killed a family. Yes. Take it easy. Twitchy. I don't trust him. Don't move. Ellie, I need him to be not dead. I need him. Shit. Okay, Isaac. I'll march him to the hub, but if he does anything stupid, anything, I will shoot him. That's fair. If it happened to me once, it could happen again. I'm not going to take that chance. Am I out at school thing? Remember that last bit being a little bit longer, but I'm perfectly fine with the length of that. Chapter 6 is pretty long. Considering how fast we breeze through that first five. I expected us to be done with at least one chapter by now. F even happened here. Oh boy, I have vague memories of this room. Come on, move. Hello, Isaac. Well, I love Strauss. I barely managed to escape the CEC facility this morning. Wait, you're CEC? Heavy equipment pilot, class four. You? Engineer. Nerd. Figures. Yeah, that's fair. Oh no! Now we can't see Kitty Kitty Bang Bang. You'll find me in the dark. Shut up. It's okay. It's just a power outage. You guys are right up there. No. Shit. <laughs> I think life support's out too. That's not good. Our two remaining runners, Clark and Strauss. I knew it was only a matter of time before you reached the transit hub. You will find the train inoperable. Are you insane? You cut off power to life support. There may be other survivors over here. The public sector is already beyond acceptable recovery conditions. I can't allow you to escape. Goodbye, Clark. I won't stick around, though. So you can take care of yourself. Oh shoot, now I know why I remember this room. Kill all of them as soon as I kill the boss. Why did Tideman turn off the power? What did you do to piss him off so much? I don't know. You know what a worker is? Yeah. The unitologist on my crew wouldn't shut up about it. Why is it real? Yeah, it's real. Tideman made one using codes, patterns stored in our heads, mine and Strauss. Everything that's happening on this station is happening because of that marker. I have to get to it and destroy it, and I need Strauss to tell me how. You're a strange man, Isaac. We're about to suffocate, so I think I'm better. 
Okay, good. This will need power. Without it, we have no air and no train. The sprawl's gotta have backup batteries somewhere. Yes. The solar arrays up there. But Where? they've been mothballed for years. Okay, alright, good. I'm heading there now. If I can start them up and get some power to the train. You'll need someone to open the collect panels. I can do that. Take Strauss and keep him safe. Thank you for be for doing the escort mission for me. Check this guy out. Check out our monger out here. He's rad. Anyways, where are we going? That way. A lot of ammo here. So to make up for the boss, or is it another boss fountain? It's unclear. Oh. Is that a mine, or is it just a scanner? Very much a mine. Not gonna risk it. I'm gonna keep shooting these. Could have ended humorously, but also rather badly. Dad, burn it. These guys are back. Sorry, buddy. This is a store. I got some semiconductors drop off. Three, I think. What the what? Ah, you son of a 